How to get plus plus and tweet apps without tweet box, app valley or tutu apps. That is coming up right after this. Hey what's up everyone welcome back to tech trends. Hope you are all having a great day. If you are seeing this channel for the first time I make tech related videos just like this one. If you are into this kind of things then consider subscribing and clicking the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos. Tweakbox, App Valley, and Tutu apps are keep getting revoked. So today I'm gonna show you how to get plus plus apps like Instagram plus plus, Spotify plus plus, and all the other apps without those third party apps. This video is for educational purposes only. I do not condone any modding apps and I do not condone you guys doing it. So to get those apps, you'll need to download a couple of things first. Also make sure you have installed iTunes on your PC. Now first, go to the website from the link in the description below. From here, you can download CDI Vector for Mac OS, Windows and Linux. Click on your operating system to download. I already downloaded it so I'm not gonna download. Now from the second link, you can find IPF files for all the apps. For the sake of this video, I'm gonna download Instagram++. Now from here, just click download and it will download. If you can't find any apps like Spotify++, then just go to Google and search for Spotify++ IPA and download it from reputable website. Now go to Impactor folder we just downloaded and open Impactor. Also don't forget to connect your iPhone to your PC. Now just drag and drop the IPA and enter your Apple ID and password. If you have two-factor authentication enabled, then just create a dummy Apple ID and use that. You don't need to connect that Apple ID to your iPhone or anything. And your Plus Plus app should be installed. If you see an error like this, then just click on Xcode tab and then revoke certificate. Then enter your Apple ID and password and that should fix the error. Now on your iPhone, the app will be installed. Now go to settings, general, scroll down to device management, click on the email and there will be blue button saying trust. Just click that and you're ready to use the app. Hope this video helped you. Like the video if you liked it. Dislike if you didn't. Subscribe to the channel for more tech contents. Have a great day and peace.